What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, every week we come at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that will help your relationship, future relationship, or maybe have you learned some of the mistakes from your past relationships that you can you know, put forth to your new relationship that hopefully you won't make those same mistakes or mistakes that we maybe encountered or some people we know have encountered and we've seen for ourselves. Yeah. So uh, obviously relationships are important. Uh, you having developing and growing your relationship is important and always progressing that relationship whatever it is um, it's also important so this edition is going to be vacation edition yay <laughs> <laughs> so you know usually me and Sharice well, we usually like to take two trips a year and because COVID this last year we really haven't traveled in almost like two years yeah um, just with the lockdowns and all this other stuff and all this crazy traveling the business and all that we really just couldn't get away but, you know, everybody comes to their breaking point, uh, you know, and some people need to be recharged, and especially relationships, too, because, you know, both parties could be working, you got family, you got all these other stresses around. So taking time for yourself or having a little mini vacay or a full-blown vacation, if, if you can do it, mm -hmm. is always key and always going to help. Um, and it helps in a number of different ways. So, you know, this year, you know, we went to Turks and Caicos. Um, I think it's our, it's our fifth time going there. We yeah, love going there. Same place, too. <laughs> Same place, you know, we do the exact same thing there, basically just <laughs> chill by the pool and beach, uh, not even really leave the, the place we where we're staying didn't at. didn't leave the resort once, actually. You know, it's that nice, you know. Some people, when they go on vacations, they want to go out, they want to, you know, they have they all these the plans excursions. And excursions and all that stuff, you know, that they might not get to do, and that's what they like to do, and that de-stresses them, and that's what they like to do on vacation. Other people like ourselves, or maybe you, like to you know, just go out there and kind of relax, decompress, de-stress, not really have to think about a whole bunch of things, even though we did. We worked while we were out there, yeah. but it was just a different environment. You right. know, it's a, a, you know, an unstressful environment to be out there. It's relaxed. Plus, you don't want to have the timelines. You know, that, that, I think that's our biggest thing, because like once you schedule something, it's like, okay, you've got to go and you got to get in this taxi and then you got to go here and then you got to go on this boat to go to this mountain mm -hmm. so you could do this one thing where you mm -hmm. go on this little rope and go across and, you know, get to whatever that's <laughs> the called. The zip line? The zip line. You know, I'm sure it would be a blast, you know, yeah. but then you got to, like, go, you know. Yeah. It's kind of, it's putting you back on a schedule, yeah. which, you know, we kind of like to clock out for once yeah that would be our only time to ever clock out right you know and um this time it was actually nice because the girls here at the office this was the first time where i felt like we actually were able to enjoy the vacation yep. and we weren't kind of like sucked into the office on the everyday stuff yep. um and they ha they handled themselves pretty good they held it down for they sure did. So big shout out to our staff yes everybody at the type medical center headquarters that made it happen uh all the way from our office people here our medical assistants, our medical providers, obviously our production here with art and everything like that. So it was, it was really good. Everybody held it down. So we're really grateful for that. You know, it, it's hard to do. You know, mm -hmm. it's hard to disconnect, especially when you own your own business or you're, you're really entailed or in the trenches of your job or career. Um, so, you know, you're always worried about everything else, you know, and make sure everything going perfect and everything like that. So it's kind of stressful that just thinking about things back home. Um, mm -hmm. But if you get the chance, definitely go and do it. You know, you should definitely plan something. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a, a full-blown vacation where you're traveling out somewhere. You could take, like, a, a, maybe a long weekend, maybe a Friday through Sunday right. type deal. Um, you know, if you live in a decent area, like here in Florida, pretty much you can go you down go the anywhere. coast. You know, there's beaches all up and down. You know, you can stay at a, a hotel maybe you guys haven't already stayed at, bread and breakfasts. Like, there's just different things to do. I mean, and you can still do some activities out there, like, for us, and we'll show you some of this video in this, like, you know, basically, you know, we, we went jet skiing for three days. We got to bring our son. Yeah. Uh, we actually got to take him out of school for a couple of days. Yeah, we lied. And we, yeah. told, we told them that he was 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he could ride the jet ski by himself. And we're in the island. I mean, nobody yeah. checks IDs right. or anything. They're not going to. I mean, he looks. The kid's 11, but yeah. he looks like he's probably about 15. He looks at least 13, <laughs> At 14. least there's, you know, a little peach fuzz coming through. Yeah. So I was like, well, forget it. Let's just get him to ride his own jet ski. I'm like, yep. do you think he can do it? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I think he can. I'm like, he's not going to fall off. He's not going to die, right? We're good? Yeah. 
<laughs> but he had a blast. Yeah. You know, he wanted to do it every day. Yeah, he had a good time. He's like, I want to ride the fastest ski. I'm like, all right, man. You can ride yeah, he put ski. me on the turtle ski. Yeah. You know? Not fun. <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. You know, and we went to the most <laughs> reputable people there. We were at this really nice resort. And reputable oh, people funny. down by This the, is real funny. Literally, two out of the three days, my jet ski ran out of gas. <laughs> So they didn't properly prepare these things, right? And I even looked. I'm like, hey, you guys, sure this is okay? Yeah, it's all, it's all good, man. Like, all right, cool. You go out there and like, beep, beep. Like, uh-oh. Like, and then it won't even go. I'm like, oh. No, the first day, the first day, we went out there, right? And John's on the jet ski. And, you know, it kind of like started beeping or whatever. And he's like, I don't know what this thing's going to do, but right. I don't know if it's going to blow up or what. We got to go back. And yeah. we're like, oh, man. Luckily, we're kind of like already almost at the 30-minute the mark or whatever yeah. it was where we got to go back anyway. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Now, me, I give people a hard time, okay? So if you ever know, if you go wrong with me, you're going to know about it, and I'm going to make a big deal about it usually. So when we go back to the jet skis the next day, I'm like, hey, I just want to make sure you guys check these jet skis. They got gas. Everything's good. Like, you did it. You did it yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I did. I gassed it myself. Da, 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 da. So we went out there. I swear, we weren't even, like, maybe not even five minutes riding. And John's jet ski, which wasn't even the jet ski the day before, yeah. <laughs> starts beeping. And you know what I told him? I told him, listen. I said, what's the worst that can happen? I said, we go out there, jet ski dies, not my problem, that's their problem. You ride back in with me on my jet ski. Yeah. What happened? Jet ski dies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we had to ride back in on Peter's jet ski. It was yeah. funny. It was funny. <laughs> It was fun. It was cool too yeah. because you know, like that, like kind of bringing back back memories for me. Like, because I used to ride jet skis up north uh, in the summer, like, all summer, um, and I was a really young age, like Peter. So it was really cool, kind of brought back memories for that. And then you know, with technology these days, it's just really cool because you can capture all these memories. GoPro over here. GoPro. I mean, you know, most cameras are waterproof now to a certain extent, um, but you know, I put the GoPro out there, got us out there. Just got him on the ski. You know, you got to see some, like, abandoned boats out there. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. So that kind of stuff was really awesome. And, you know, you take these memories back and you create your own little videos, you know, and memories, right? Because I remember when we were kids, you know, it was the... The, the, the disposable camera they had a, eh, 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 or it was the, got, or like, the big recorder like this big yeah, and you weren't taking that on the water and you weren't taking that near no. any water no <laughs> no so you know like you know, stuff like that because I mean if I would have had the technology that we have today like GoPros I mean man I would have been able to capture so much John cool was stuff. I mean back in the day he was doing like flips yeah. out there like yeah. a dolphin yeah so it was it was really cool you know at that <laughs> point like just to have that uh, and then, you know, just, like I said, relaxing and then recharging and then resetting, especially when you're a couple. If it's just you, let's say you don't have any kids and you're, you know, you're going out there, you're having that quality bonding time together. You guys are out there. You guys can enjoy yourselves together. This is when you make good memories. You laugh, right? Um, you know, you can eat good dinners out. You know, I mean, you do so many cool things on different vacations and you can pick all kinds of different things. Maybe you like to go and you like to go out and basically like in the woods and you want to go camping possibly. I know Sharice ain't up for that. No. You know, I like, this, I don't want to even know. Some people like the outdoors. So, I mean, you <laughs> could pick a number of different activities for vacation and go do it. Um, you know, it's just, like I said, it's really, really cool. Even just to get away and to see new places or even if you like, there's a certain place you like to go to, you can go back there because that might be your Zen place and that might be, you know, where you recharge the best. So there's no, there's no right and wrong on vacation. It's just, uh, don't stress on vacation. And like I said, for me and her, like, we try not to set any schedules of things. Right. Because we're always like, yeah. on, like, I mean, I can't even say we're on a set schedule here because, I mean, we're just, it's like, things change by the hour sometimes right. for us. That's right. Um, but it's always something. It's like, and then next thing I know, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like 10 o'clock at night, yep. you know, and next day it happens all over again you know yeah. what we didn't do today rolls into tomorrow yep. and it's just you know it is nice i think we might be the only people because i do feel like even when we've went places with like friends you know like as a group they kind of want to do like you know cool things because sometimes you go to places that have like um for instance i probably want to do it too they got like those caves right yep. and you go in the cave and it's super cool because it's got the clear water and this and that yep. But then it's like an hour drive. Yeah. And it's an hour drive back. Now, yeah. the hour drive there, this is what kills me, is that whole time you're losing the sun. That's right. That's <laughs> you're right. in a vehicle yeah. driving. And me and him agree on this. Yeah. So, some people don't. You know, they'll, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I want to do that. 
And me and John, listen, on vacation, I am not getting up at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning to go see a cave, okay? <laughs> I can assure you that. It's true. So, you know, we you know, get to sleep in. It's nice a little bit. Get up, eat breakfast, chill. It's not rush, 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 rush. Yeah. You know, because it's like that all the time for us. So yeah. it's nice to just kind of decompress for a second. Yeah. Slow it down just a little bit from what we're used to. Yeah. It's just, it's everly. Just go, go, go and adapt. So this is one thing. You know, the other thing was, was it's the first time, obviously, traveling. Like I said, uh, for COVID, uh, mm-hmm. that wasn't the last time we traveled, and uh, you know we didn't know what to expect traveling, like during these times, right? Because how the airlines act and all that. So we got a learning experience, and you know usually we'd show up to the airport, even international flights, maybe an hour and a half before flights, because um, you can get the book, you know, and, and check in the night before, and you already have your boarding pass and stuff like that. I thought for sure they had put me on some some, some no fly yeah. list or something when they couldn't check in so online. This was, yeah, this was the first time we were not able to check in um. online. I'm like, oh my god, what's this all about, right? So I called the airlines. They they wouldn't like give me a reason. They're like, oh, you just have to check in with the person there. I'm like, okay. So we get there, and it's like, all right. You have to stay in this line if you're only international, and they check off all these different things. And every country, each country, I guess, has these different laws or uh, standards of what they will accept for you to travel to their country because of COVID. Um, and like Tristan Caicos, like you had to have a, a negative swab within five days. Mm-hmm. Um, you had to buy health insurance that was going to cover COVID, transportation, yep. emergencies. And then you had to upload that, not the insurance card, the actual policy. Yep. And then they will issue a visa to you to travel the Turks. Well, when you check in, we used... Uh, even though you upload it, yeah. why even bother uploading it if you got to go through a whole line yeah. to basically upload it through a person? Yeah. Like, it's uploaded. Okay, cool. Let me see it again. Yeah. You know, it was really crazy. So, <laughs> we had to do all this to travel out of the United States, okay? And then the... Back in? And then the rule to get back in is... Nobody cares. Is the United States, <laughs> you have to have a negative test within three days of your travel. No one cares. Well, we got the test and it was really cool because Turks, they don't charge you for all the resorts do them for free. Yeah. So you got a free free negative or a free swab. And ours was negative, 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 obviously. Swab. And uh, <laughs> well, when we went to go back into the United States, nobody checked, nobody it. checked it. Nobody they checked it. They were harder it. at getting out of the United States, the United, than the U.S. was to come back in. I mean, USA! Uh, what, what the hell are we doing, guys? <laughs> like, our borders are already unsecure, and, and, you know, coming in from all these other countries already. And now we have people traveling that are coming back in. You know, they might have caught COVID over I'm there. I'm sitting knows? over there with my three envelopes with our little negative swabs yeah. in my purse, which I can put many other things in my purse besides this. And it's in my purse, like, waiting, waiting. Like, okay, who do we got to give this to? Because I got to go back to the United States of America, yeah. right? But nobody cared. And even, like, when you travel international, when you come back in, usually they have you go to these kiosks and you type in all your information, declarations and all that stuff. Um, so it's a little bit more of a process than you have to go to the, the, the booth where the person's at and give them that. Where now, they cut that out totally. It was actually easier for us to go through customs than it was before. <laughs> oh like, are we ass backwards in this or, or what's going on out there? Come on, guys. Like, we got to get our stuff together in the United States because, man, I, I feel like our borders are very unsecure in a lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. So At, at least that, you know you can come back home. Yeah, at least you know you can come back home. That, that's, uh, that's the that's biggest the best thing, part, right? Yes, I'm right. not going to complain about that. I won't complain about you. <laughs> I definitely won't. Plus, I got through it a lot quicker. I got through quicker. You know? And then wherever you're going to travel to, right? Start looking up tips and tricks on what is going on there or if they have any, like, things that will expedite your travel. Mm -hmm. For example, we've been traveling Turks and Caicos, like I said, this is our fifth time. Well, after the first two times, I learned there was this thing called Fast Track. Fast Track. And it's only by the country. So... At that point, you could you could get a hold of Fast Track. You can pay them in advance, and they're waiting for you right when you get off the plane. And what they do you is skip they everyone. they skip everybody in their customs. You get your bags. You go all through, and all these people are oh, waiting. They're like, oh, I want this. Like, no, you have to sign up beforehand. And then even back, like when you're getting ready to travel back to the U.S., you still have to go security and stuff like that through this country. They just fast track you. They walk you in front of everybody in the line and just put you right through. It's, it's really awesome. Well, I mean, I, I really don't even know what a line is, but that's fine. So it, it's really cool. So there's other <laughs> ways that you guys can expedite travel things, too, um, to get the most out of your vacation and your time. So these are just some of the tips and tricks that we've experienced on vacation or some of the things that we do. So you guys plan your vacation for a de-stressor, relaxer, recharging. Reconnection. Reconnection. That's a beautiful word right there. Yeah. So make sure you guys are doing this at least once a year. So you guys are, you know, just like I said, you guys are 
de-stressing, reconnecting. That was a beautiful word. I love that. And, and, and being a better couple all the way around, you know, um, even if you're solo, right? You can go on vacations. There's single vacations out there you guys can do where you guys can see or meet people out there. Um, so that's it, guys. If you guys want to see a lot of our content from this trip and other trips, you guys can go to our Tight Medical Center YouTube page. It's on there, our social medias. Plus, we'll probably have some clips on here for you, too, in the show. So... That's been another great Cupid's Corner with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hi, I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys <laughs> next week with another Cupid's Corner every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, or check it out on our YouTube page or our social medias. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're out of here. See ya.